This is the brand new Eufy X10 Pro Omni Robot Vacuum. Now Eufy is sponsoring this video and they say that the X10 has all the power and the features of competing flagship robot vacuums, but at about half the price. It's got dual rotating mop pads, 8,000 pascals of suction, a detangling comb, and it's supposed to see over 100 obstacles and avoid them. Now that all sounds good, but we need to test these claims, so links are down below. Let's start with suction and pickup. The X10 has 8,000 pascals of suction, which is as high as some of the more expensive robot vacuums we've tested. So to test pickup, we put 20 grams of sand on hardwood, and then we sent the X10 out to see how much it could pick up with maximum suction. And we found it actually picked up 100% of the sand, which is right up there with the best vacuums we've tested so far. Then we performed the exact same test on carpet. Set it to maximum suction, we sent it out again, and this time it picked up 80% of the sand that we left on the carpet. And again, that is pretty much at the high end of all the robot vacuums we've tested to date. That's a good score. And it was surprisingly effective on pretty much everything that we threw at it. To get the dirt into the vacuum, it uses a brush roll, an edge brush, and two five-sided mop pads. The edge brush seems pretty effective at sweeping dirt from your baseboards into the brush roll, and it gets into corners well too. So of course, sand isn't the only kind of dirt that you're gonna find in your house. So to make it a little bit more challenging, we set up an obstacle course, and we put down a mix of sand, some cereal, coffee grounds, pet hair, and just whatever else was lying around the house. And we found it picked up all of that dirt quite easily too, and we're gonna talk about the obstacle course in just a minute. But first, let's talk about my cats. My cats have very long hair, they're very curious, and they leave pet hair absolutely everywhere. Now, of course, when you're picking up pet hair, some of that is going to get tangled up in the brush roll. Now, Eufy has a unique approach to battling this problem. The X10 has a special detangle comb. When the robot goes back to the base station, it spins the brush roll backwards. The little comb pops down and helps get the hair out of the brush roll. There is a little bit of hair on the brush roll right now, and when it spins backwards, I don't know if you can see it, but the little teeth in there, they kind of grab the hair. It's gonna sort of pop out, and that's gonna go into the vacuum. Now, it's not perfect, but it is super easy to clean. To remove, you just pop these two little clips open here, and this comes out, and you can easily get to the brush roll and get any excess hair off. I talk about filtration all the time on this channel. I think it's really important to keep the finer dust particles and pet dander and allergens out of the air. If you're sensitive to these things, it's what you're breathing in, and I think a good vacuum shouldn't just take that stuff and put it back into the air. The X10 has a high efficiency filter, which traps particles down to 0.3 microns. That means particles like mold and dander, they stay inside the vacuum instead of the vacuum pumping it back into the air. And I think that's really important, especially if you've got pets, like my two very fluffy kitties. My biggest complaint with some robot vacuuming apps is that they're difficult to use and they don't work very well. The Eufy actually has a lot of different configurations and I think it is pretty easy to use. My house has multiple floors so I can select which map I'm gonna use for my lower floor, my top floor, or my living room. Let's say I wanted to clean the top floor and let's say I wanted to do only a specific area in there. I can do a zone. Let's say I just wanted to clean this area over here. Put that down, hit start, and it's gonna go clean that area. You can also set up cleaning scenarios like a full home daily clean. You can tap it, select the map that you wanna do, and then you can add specific cleaning tasks and tell it where to go. The app also gives you a lot of different ways to specifically customize the cleaning that you wanna do in your home. And there's actually a smart mode too which will adapt the cleaning strategy depending on the room type and the cleaning frequency, and if you have pets, and so on. It's also easy to set up a no-go zone. You can also create a boundary, like, hey, don't go past this area here. One of the biggest problems with some robot vacuums is that they tend to get stuck on obstacles. So Eufy has developed a system called AIC, Obstacle Avoidance and it uses both LiDAR and a camera together. And how it works is it takes images, takes pictures of objects in your room, and then using AI, it identifies those objects, and it marks them, and then it avoids them. Eufy says it can recognize over 100 objects like toys, wires, cords, shoes, and even pet waste. And it also has an LED to illuminate dark areas so you don't need to turn the lights and it can always see where it's going. In fact, I thought it was pretty cool it was vacuuming in complete darkness here. I've created an obstacle course for the X10 and it's not just any obstacle course. We've got a shoe, 
we got some cereal, we've got some hair, we got some pet hair, we got a remote control, we got some fake pet doo doo, we got coffee grounds, and we got a lens cap, and we've got a cord all the way along the wall. So this is gonna be a good test of the obstacle avoidance system. Let's see how well it does. It's identified the cable along the wall, which most robot vacuums actually don't. And now it's continuing to move along the wall, moving the mop along with it in a back and forth pattern. Now it's getting close to the fake animal poop, but it's staying away. Good vacuum. It's grabbing the hair and avoiding the lens cap as it heads for the shoe. It's mopping around the shoe and now it's got the cereal and it's still circling the lens cap. One thing you'll notice is that the lens cap and the fake poop are lower than the height of the robot and most robot vacuums will run over them. That's the AIC camera system at work. You can actually see in the app the objects that it actively avoided. So you can see the doo-doo over here. This is a, a lens cap. You can see it found the cord also. It found a shoe. So you can see it's identifying objects and marking them so that it'll avoid them. And then it's telling me to clean the area promptly before I go and do another vacuuming run. So the X10 is a mopping robot and it has on board an 80 milliliter water tank. Now the water tank in the Omni station is three liters. And that means it's got enough water to clean a home of about 1500 square feet, two to three times per week. Now the X10 has something called Mop Master 2.0. This is their newest mopping system. You can see you've got two mops, but they're not round. In fact, they've got five sides. So instead of leaving a streak down the middle like some other robot vacuums, this actually fills in the gap in the middle and increases coverage. If you want to clean these, this just comes off super easy. Throw these in the washing machine. What also makes it unique is when it's mopping, these pads can apply about two pounds of downward force that's going to help scrape away some of the stains that you might have. Let's try it on some coffee stains. I let this coffee stain dry overnight. There's my cat. Let's see how the X10 does on it. This coffee stain was completely dry and I was actually surprised at how effective the Eufy was at getting rid of it in just a couple passes. And if you've got carpet in your house, it's going to automatically detect the carpet and then it's gonna lift the mop pads 12 millimeters, which is around a half an inch, to keep your carpet dry. And it's got an edge sensor, so when it travels along the wall, it's gonna keep moving the mop to the edge. If it runs out of water, it will return to the base station to keep the mop wet. When it's done, it washes the mops, Start washing mops and then it dries them with 113 degree air so it doesn't create odors. The dirty water tank is 2.7 liters and it will alert you when it needs to be emptied. And the dirt goes into a bag, which is big enough for about two months worth of cleaning. There's a lot of choice in the robot vacuum world right now and some of them are actually very expensive. You can spend up to about $2,000. And the X10 Pro Omni absolutely competes with these more expensive vacuums for a much friendlier price point. The pickup performance is right up there with the best I've tested. The mopping performance, especially on dried stuff like coffee, was actually very impressive. And I think the hexagonal rotating style of mops is actually better than some of the vibrating pads. It just seems to do a better job on dirt that's kind of ground in and dried. Now the base station is on the smaller side and I think that's a good thing. It's gonna fit into your home a little bit better. The iPath laser navigation does a better than average job of avoiding obstacles and not having to do pre-cleaning before you send your robot out to vacuum. The app is really good and it works with Amazon Alexa and Google Assistant so you can control it with your voice from another room. You can purchase the Eufy X10 Pro Omni at the links down below Thanks for nerding out with us today.